It's the buzzword for the next two months. If you haven't heard about the upcoming cicada emergence, well, you will in no time. It'll either be an extreme annoyance or music to your ears. There are numerous kinds of cicadas. Some come out annually, others only every 13 or 17 years. This year, a particular breed of cicadas, Brood 2, will be re-emerging on the East Coast. The last time anyone saw or heard this group was in 1992, when Bill Clinton was serving his first term as president. Brood 2 is going to be pretty spectacular. They're not going to be right here in College Park or in Prince George's Montgomery County. This time, Brood 2 cicadas are going to be down in St. Mary's, probably Calvert, maybe Anne Arundel. The noisy critters may seem like a nuisance to many, but not to entomologist Mike Raup. He actually loves the insects, touting their benefits and their nutritional value. He even convinced yours truly to try the gourmet food back in 2004, shortly after Brood 10 emerged. I had a taste of, you guessed it, one of these yummy deep-fried cicadas. These guys are fantastic nutrient cyclers. So they fed underground on the sap of trees for 17 years. They're going to get up and out. They're going to mate. They're going to lay their eggs. And they're going to become food for many different kinds of animals that love to eat cicadas. When they die, their little bodies are going to rain back down on the ground, and they're going to fertilize the very trees from which they emerged. Raup says we can expect the cicadas to emerge around Memorial Day, climb up the nearest tree, and then begin their song and mating routine. And the cicadas will disappear as fast or rather as slow as they came. After they mate, the adults will die, their eggs will then hatch, and the young ones will fall to the ground, and then they'll burrow themselves underground for the next 17 years.